Right, so I haven't planned anything to say in this video, or I haven't thought about even making this video until about five or ten minutes ago when I finished my live stream. But it, it sort of struck me that I've got 3,000, nearly 300, 3,300 people who watch this channel, and I know that a lot of them are aged between 15 and 16, and they are picking up their GCSE results this morning. Now, I know that it's a very stressful time and I remember the feeling of going in to pick up my GCSE results and being absolutely petrified because I hadn't done any work for them whatsoever and I really was panicking that it was going to be the end of the world and I'd be working at McDonald's for the rest of my life. But I did okay. I did enough to get by. I didn't excel and I didn't completely fail. And that'll be the case for everybody <laughs> who's put in any, enough effort. You would have done okay. Now... I know that lots of you will have ambitions of going on to A-level courses, college courses, university, everything like that in the future, and you have to use today as a starting point. You have to think about what you want to achieve, and if you don't know what you want to achieve, that doesn't matter. Keep. I still don't know what I want to achieve, and I've got a profession, <laughs> and I've got a job, and I've got a career, but I don't know within that career where I want to go, and that'll be the case for some of you. Some of you will have a clear mindset of what you want to achieve and that's great if you've missed out if you haven't got the grades that you've wanted to achieve to go on and do the college courses or to go on and do your A levels use this as your motivation stoke that fire now within you to say right what do I actually want to do do I want to go and do this or that do I really want to resit English maths to be able to go and do that this is your moment to decide. Don't see today as the end of your work. See it as the beginning of the next step. And think about Nuno as well. I always do now. Everything that I do, I think, right, what would Nuno say? What would Nuno do? He talks about being humble and appreciating that you're learning, you're constantly growing, you're changing and you're developing, you're working for perfection, which doesn't exist. Perfection would be every single one of you getting the top grades and getting every single mark that doesn't that's not going to happen that's not possible but it's about appreciating the journey that you're on and where you're going to become and what you're going to do in two three years time nobody's going to ask you for your GCSE results again but today they're the most important thing in the world and if there's a TV camera in your school and they're filming you opening your results, you've probably done well. I can appreciate that this has been a very stressful morning for some of you and in an hour's time you'll be going and picking up your results. And I really hope that you've done well. And if you are proud of your results, then great. So congratulate yourself, celebrate tonight. But know that in September, this is the, you're starting again. You refresh and you go and you do it again. If you pick up the results and they're not what you wanted and if they mean that you've missed out on courses or things like that as I said make sure that you don't make those same mistakes next time and also more importantly than I think anything else make sure that you celebrate with your friends and you commiserate with your friends because at 16 you're still surrounded by people your own age and and things like that and it's an amazing time and you really must take these moments in and make sure that you enjoy them as best you can because they soon wear out but yeah whatever happens you're amazing i love you make sure that you keep on watching my channel yeah